just saw, well, I'm saying just, but actually uh, saw the the new X-Men, uh, supposedly the final X-Men trailer. Um, not bad, actually, not bad. They do a lot. They've got, um, they're pushing, they're pushing the whole uh, Raven Dark Home thing, the uh, Mystique. They're pushing her character the chick that turns blue and can metamorphosize, look like other people, they're pushing that. Um, probably because they've got uh, Jennifer Lawrence to play the character, and she's she's on a big uh, role right now. She's doing um, the, the Hunger Games uh, series, and those are kind of hot right now, so they've got her as part of their property, so they're going to, you know, squeeze the life out of her, putting her in charge, not really what they did in the comic books but it's the uh it's the television universe so it's it's going to be a little bit different um magneto says you know that his family has died is a problem with his family and you got to wonder what family he's talking about is he talking about like scarlet witch and quicksilver who are uh his children or is he talking about his extended family? Is he talking about you know somebody before that? Is he talking about other mutants? Um, question I guess that will be answered in the movie. Everything they've built will fall. He says that in every preview, so I guess it's going to be something big in the movie. But every time he says it, if I'm not mistaken, his voice has changed. They've changed the voice. I guess they're still trying to get that last... You know, making sure that the voice is just right and creepy and scary enough. You know, I guess that's what they're doing. Um, they mentioned that, they show the picture of that it's the school for gifted uh, youngsters. So, you know, you, you they've got that in there and that's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool nod to the comic book. Um, it's basically going to be about Apocalypse coming back and being unhappy with what he sees about the world and he wants to change it and build another world. Apocalypse was um, supposedly the very first uh, mutant. N. Sabanor is his real name and he's the first um, mutant ever. Um, his powers are, are pretty much anything really, pretty much anything he can think of but not specifically just because those are his mutant powers. Um, they hint about it when they show him on the slab and he's, you know, getting changed by the slab. He's got a lot of mechanical parts. He's uh, almost as much robot as he is person. And his, his, a lot of his power and a lot of his robotic parts, at least according to the comic book, comes from space gods called the Celestial, who left a lot of equipment behind when they visited Earth and he acquired that and increased his power. Uh, it's probably how he's immortal also. Could very well be his mutant ability, but I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that comes from um, his stolen tech. So he's a, he's a, he's like a tech mutant god type dude. Um, and he wants to, the, to, to, to separate the weak from the strong. And the best way to do that is to attack them, man. It's to fight with everybody and see who survives. And that's the strong. Anybody who dies, they die because they were weak. Not because they just happened to be looking the other way when they got shot in the back of the head or something like that. Or, you know, uh, a weaker guy had a pipe and beat a guy while he was asleep. You know, different things. I mean, how can you really tell with that? But that's his gig. That's his deal. He's going to figure out who's weak and who's strong by uh, attacking the world. Um, he destroys a lot of stuff in terms of the smoke, so 
it looks like even if the X-Men win, they're not going to be too terribly successful because he was blowing up everything. You know, a lot of stuff. I think if I were to guess that I would say that that scene where he grabs Xavier and he forces him to the ground and he's banging him against the walls and everything like that, I think they're fighting in what's called the astral plane, which is um, where Charles Xavier is supposed to be the most powerful. He goes like, you know, it's the mental plane. He goes on there and it's like he's mind to mind, man. Sort of like uh, when Spock would put his hands on you and he'd get inside your brain. Xavier does that, but he doesn't need to touch you. He doesn't need, need to be in the same city. He can just jump in your head. And he can kind of Freddy Krueger you, you know. It's like dream time. Whatever he's thinking is reality. If your mind is more powerful than him, then if he has a sword and you've got a shield, he can't break your shield because your mind's more powerful. Um, but if his mind's more powerful, then you just got stuck by a sword. So I think that's where he's fighting Apocalypse in the in the preview. And um, if Apocalypse is more strong than him there, then he's he's pretty much going to be useless for the rest of the uh, the thing. They show this battle dome where everybody's fighting, and I, I almost think that that's the um, the war room where the where the X Men train and fight. But it looks like Nightcrawler had to save everybody by leaving, so maybe he's leaving the war room, which is in the school or maybe this is just some place in an alley where mutants gather to kick the crap out of each other I don't know yet but I would I would like to think that it's their actual training room um, if you'll notice if you're a comic book guy and you notice all of Apocalypse's um, people besides Magneto all the other three are heroes so I think that they're going to turn on him and join Xavier. Who knows? Let's hope so. That could be the thing. I think that's the thing. So, X-Men, Apocalypse, final trailer. Did you like it? Did you like this video? If you did, subscribe right here. And as always, like or don't like.